So today I'm going to talk a little bit about slip and fall cases. They call them premise liability. They call them slip, trip, and falls. And generally they fall under three or four categories. These are big categories and you can certainly have more or less. But you have falls, which happen a lot, and slips in supermarkets. And that kind of case is where something's been spilled on the floor. Those are problem cases a lot of times because people don't know what they've tripped on or slipped on and they have to be investigated pretty carefully to find out if there are cases. A second big category is premise liability where rental, so you rent a piece of property, the steps aren't right, you fall down the steps and that can be a good case provided there's something wrong with the steps, provided they haven't shoveled the snow off it or they don't have a railing on the side. You can have cases like the weather, which it is right now in the winter time, when you have people slipping on sidewalks. And those are generally controlled by statute, by the cities. And most cities have a statute that say, within so many hours, you have to get the ice mm -hmm. and the snow off of the street. And if they don't get the ice and snow off the street, then they're liable and another big area in the winter time is is parking lots of stores like Safeway and Target and other places very tough cases unless they are close to the entrance to the store now let me tell you something about slip trip and fall cases against businesses my experience is hard to prove because they lie. Even if you have a witness who works there and say it's been people are not cleaning up the water from the snow tracking into the building and they'll tell you that and when it comes time to trial they put so much pressure on the employee that the employee will deny that it happens. So slip, trip and fall cases people get seriously injured but they are complicated my experience is that most insurance companies deny liability out of hand and really most people go away. So if you're injured in a slip, trip and fall, it would behoove you to see a lawyer.